Yeah. Um, and I will say, I'm announcing this now. Joe doesn't know this. This is for the belt. So if Joe loses. Oh, dang. <laughs> Joe loses. Dreamy's the new champion. So. Oh, uh, man. That's amazing. <laughs> he's, a, he's a BP. Ouch. That is actually perfect tune style. <laughs> It reminds me of that, you, you shared that video of that guy who um, fought the blow-up doll, and there's that... Yes. Who apparently is in the in the WWE now, is that what I've read? Yeah, uh, there's a developmental uh, brand of WWE called NXT. Oh, um, it's like that, the Farm that, League? That's kind of like, they'll bring in guys and they'll go there first, that's where they learn the style of how to do WWE. Right. Yeah, so... If you if you if you ever want a good laugh, uh, this guy Kota Ibushi is one of the greatest wrestlers in the world. And he wrestled a really good match with a blow up doll. Yeah, and I'm serious. And the fact that this is actually a really good match. It is like, a really good not, match. I it's, I it's, all, sat it's and funny watched... that he's wrestling with a blow up doll, but it's also like a really good match yeah. with a blow up doll. And uh, oh god, um, yeah. So you, oh god, so I need go. to fix my thing. Hold up. Which one is it synced with? Sorry guys, blame OBS. There we go. Oh. My bad. You didn't miss much. <laughs> That's alright. Um, there's also actually one of his biggest rivals um, is a guy by the name of Kenny Omega in Japan who um, names a lot of his moves after video games, including Street Fighter and Final Fantasy. Nice. <laughs> and K Kenny Omega is notable for uh, having a match with a nine-year-old girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, they had just started like a new women's promotion, and one of the they they wanted they had like a little girl who had uh, like one of the daughters of one of the promoters or something like that, and she was like she had done some martial arts and stuff. So they're like, can you have a match with this little girl and make it like just like three minutes? And they made it like a five minute time limit or something like that. Oh, it's actually really good. That's funny. Yeah, but yeah, that uh, I, 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 I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just check out this little doll thing, and then I just sat and watched all like eight minutes of the of the match, and it was like, this is amazing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Anyway, back to races. So it's pretty even. I mean, they both got the same kind of build here. A little bit extra yep. damage for Grimy, and no fireball spell. But otherwise, it's pretty close. Looks like Mudjo's gonna take the torch of foresight. I think that's a smart call. Will Grimy? He does not. Uh, I think you could take that bomb spell. I think that, oh, there's three bombs right there. So yeah, it matter. has three bombs. But yeah, it, at his current situation with no bombs, maybe the bomb spell was the right call. Though low health, if you're going to be using bombs, you're going to need more than just one to take out the Necrodancer. So you need more health. Anyway, there's yeah, a lot that delicate. happens between now and then. So. It, it's delicate, but you have that glass broadsword, so it's going to be a really quick arena. So I think you take something there. That's but, true. Wow, that's actually yeah, really glass close. Glass broadsword is quite quite good at clearing. Yeah, my bad right. about that. It, it mirrored because I, um, it was just the way I, I, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a thing, it's a thing, yeah, it's a thing with VLC and, uh, when one window goes away, it yeah. grabs it When I, when uh, I tried to forward the timing of the, one of the windows, it disappeared for a second, and then that's when it mirrored it. We are literally neck and neck, both on death metal at the exact same moment. This is super duper close. <laughs> That fireball think, uh, though coming into into play a little bit there and allowing Mudjo to get a bit of a lead here, but only a tiny little bit of a lead. So inter interesting thing, um, Grimy did a couple things. One, he passed up sunglasses, which would have made that a faster fight. And two, uh, he stayed on the splash screen for a little bit, maybe to get his bearings for the beat. I know a lot of people will wait um, for the like. The, the opening like sting of death metal is, is hard to catch the beat on yeah because there's no like actual beat to it so you'll, you'll wait like for the intro to go away right um so all that kind of cost them a little bit of time here and not having that fireball too uh, this has been an excellent uh zone three for mudjo though he's actually taking a little time to farm but he could have dropped right down a trap door there oh no and that is this is not good you got a bomb uh You've got that was bombs. actually the only thing that green could have done right there is pop your shield scroll. Yeah. Yeah. And push by. Or try and bomb bomb out of it. Now Although I guess he just a, he a base base spear to get through this might, garbage. Might have been able to move down and then hit the, the thing. But like if if he yeah, if so but it was like he just moved up and that dog appeared and then you just like panic because yeah. you don't have a Oh torch totally. It's, yeah, it's that's what happens when you don't have a torch though. Things surprise you. And I'm gonna agree with Petsko Petsko Moo. 
Uh, oh my Sunglass. god, this is spooky. Uh, that definitely sunglasses are bad news. And there he goes. Yeah, that was just. Uh, had when you only have one damage, the entire not time. Do. Yeah, that's true. Really needed to use that. So, sunglasses, yes, I agree. Sunglasses are tricky. However, when you're running glass, there's always a chance that your glass is going to break. And sunglasses make your life so much easier when you're just running that shard or true. in that case. That's actually a really good point. Because you also have the five damage from the glass. And then when it breaks. Not if, yeah. but when you'll then right. have uh, you'll have two damage, which is quite. So good. it's oh. it's it's almost always like the the damage up is almost always beneficial. Like the only time it really wouldn't be beneficial would be if you had like titanium and another damage up already. And in that case, you'd be like, well, I don't really need the four damage. Right. But like a, with obsidian, it's good because you can get hit and select two damage. With titanium, it's good because three damage is so good. With glass, five is is, uh, is that significant kind of. Uh, barrier plus if it breaks you're you're good to go yeah you are convincing me jack maybe i'll take the sunglasses next time i usually just i don't like to pick them up if i'm doing like pv attempts i will because you kind of just gotta do everything you can to make yourself go faster but sunglasses are spooky oh man oh, oh trust Dude, me i know i die taking all the, lots yeah. of hits here i die all the time with sunglasses so i'm not like that's just, but it's a matter of getting good right but it's like a few few things are hard to see ghosts are hard to see which one. oh he just runs into that the shopkeeper ghost is also really hard. Oh, to shopkeeper see. ghost, it's yeah. So especially when I've died so many times on like PB pace with Bolt, where I have sunglasses, and you just like you have like sound effects slow or off or something like that, and like you just are you might like barely hear this the, the ghost. You're like, Ooh, where is it? And then all of a sudden he's on your on your face, yeah. Or you get to like, you get to, like three three, and it's like immediate rider, an immediate dragon, and the shopkeeper ghost, and you're like, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. You know, like well, that was like a minute thirty to three. I think Mudjo's in a pretty all right spot. He does have this earthquake scroll. We are yet to see that today, but basically, earthquake does one hit to uh, Dead Ringer. We'll see that here, and so it yep. makes this fight infinitely easier. And actually, managed to avoid that rider getting in the way as well, so we didn't have to turn it into Pong Pinger, and managed to just get through it no problem. All right, four bombs. Um... A cane is cheering on the uh, grimy here. And that's totally yeah. understandable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As Mudjo is, uh, yeah, really good. So. <laughs> Joe's melody is not super solid. Interesting. I mean, it's, 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 it's I mean, he's good. Yeah, I guess the gone. last melody tournament we saw was uh, Tune, right? Yeah. Um, nice that was blood, him blood and Ink. That was him and Ink Nun, I believe. Um, and then he he usually makes the like the the last melody condo was him and Scooby. Oh, to the okay. point where it's nice. Yeah, yeah. so like it's rivalry. good, it's 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 good, but it's not like this. Like well, you no. know, that's a GG fastest run today. Still not very fast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Like we were used to seeing like 5:45. Yeah, you know, so, sub sevens at least, but that's okay. Yeah. I think that a lot of racers are just trying to make sure they win. Uh, the race strats seem to be shifting back towards, you know, just to make sure you win. Because there's, it sort of comes and goes, right? Like sometimes, like when we first started with uh, Necker Dancer Racing, everyone really slowed played and made sure that they finished. But then by the time season three rolled around before the full release, they were going like PB attempt speed. Yeah, it was just like, especially like, um, through zone three, like there's, like zone four is what you need items for. You don't need items for zone three. That's to go right. fast in zone three. You yeah. need a rapier or a cat, and yeah, then you need you like a weapon, just... and then you're good. That was yeah, and that was good, the meta back then. Good layouts, and then maybe a big torch. And eat. Yeah, like still my fastest times to zone four are like two thirty, you know, high two thirty, low yeah. two forty, and those have all been just like. Well, I've got an obsidian rapier and a big torch. Yeah. And then you get to zone four and you're like, I can't go fast because I don't have phasing or courage or boots or yeah. Yeah. any or freeze or anything like that. But, you know, um, you, you didn't need that to zone three. So now there, there's a lot more of a meta of do I check the shop? You know, just, you know, do I conjure to go for a ring or anything like that? Whereas before it's like you didn't need any of that. That's true. Yeah, you need to farm a little more in the earlier zones to make it through zone four safely and quickly. Uh, Mudjo is blaming the zoom. Yeah. Sorry. 
I can see that. I think the plan is once we get to Aria, we are going to ask the racers if they want to keep Condor Zoom or switch to Toon Zoom. We imagine they'll switch, but Aria is sort of a bit of a different beast. Um, so... Yeah, I don't think I don't think Aria is too reliable. Like I think Bolt is bad. Yeah, usually it's Condor the Zoom. higher speed ones. Obviously, Coda. You just can't Whoa. react. Interesting. That's actually a really uh, nice one shot. Oh, I gets the cheese go back? Oh, baby. I would have I would have just threw. Yep, yeah. Like, what are you doing? That's There's a right. Minotaur. I would have just reset. I think while that is true, we're at the point now where I still think this is a pretty nice start. He's at a heart and a half. That's all right. Yeah, it's great. get the heart back. I would have yeah, so just reset thrown and then use the Or no, I'd reset and use the Minotaur to open. Okay. Oh, um, that's a good point. So, um... So people know how the Boots of Pain work. Basically, his attack pattern right now is he's got the Lunge as if he had a Rapier that does three damage, and then he's got the Titanium Broadsword. So this is, he kind of does like a bit of a cross pattern in front, and it's really, really strong because you're safe to just kind of push, but you're also cleaning up the sides, diagonals. Uh, one thing that Broadswords do is they really help with bats. I yep. found that, yeah, like with Bolt, if you go with a Broadsword, you're not gonna have to worry about bats as much, which is quite nice. So, um, all right, could you slip bomb by Joe on uh, that Minotaur? You know, you don't really see those anymore. People don't do, don't use bombs on Minotaurs because no. you need them. You need them. But, but he's catching up. Uh, he actually caught up. Here. Yep. Uh, yeah, bombs can be uh, fast, and he was able to do throw strats, which is a little faster. Oh my goodness, that build. We got the Scooty. Holy this is the Scooty. This, this is the scootiest, basically, is, that you this can This is get. one of my favorite builds of all time. This is so good. Nope, don't pick that up. That would have been bad. But yeah, this is such a good build right now. He's got plus one damage. He's going to be moving all the time. You can actually double hit enemies because when you do the courage move, you also hit the next square with your Boots of Pain. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You just gobble up everything. This is... Uh-oh. Like, he just... He Oh my god, he can take the hit. He's gonna have to. No, he can curse. Oh no, he can take the curse. Yeah, he had to take the hit there. The curse isn't gonna work. That's pretty funny, but also kind of terrible. But now you're at half a heart, so it's scary. You don't play as as com uh, confidently. Courage yeah, so when really you have good. courage, it's all about actually having the confidence to just smash through stuff. Yeah. Um, See, so there you actually... saw the, uh, the pain killing the, um, the clone because of the courage. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. We are really close. Uh, Grimey's taking a little bit of a lead here because his build is so much better. Uh, though it's not quite as safe, although yeah, the I'm saying that with the glass on, on Joe's side. Yeah, the Boots of Pain um, are kind of the the Boots of Speed of what, you that know. That wind spell. Man, that was ridiculous. It just makes you so much more efficient um, when you have this kind of one range weapon. Yeah. Um, Check the shop, Im dude. Check for health. Bomb for that uh, glass. Glass. No, he only has two bombs. He I can still do it. Can't. Dying can't. is worse. Dying is what, what, what? worse. Joe doesn't die. <laughs> well, exactly. That's why you can't die. Hope yeah, you but you can't slow later. down. You have to push against Joe. Like, if you die, Joe is... Nah, you gotta hope you find uh, bombs later. It's true, though. Joe does not die. Although we're... If I mean, does, Joe can die really if you cursing. push him, but if you, like, if you just, like, chill, I mean, he well, dies. It's hard to push Joe, because he's going so fast already. But he is being pushed right now, picking up a rifle. Titanium Rapier is a pretty good pickup. Yep, and this he is took that instead of the glass brush. Really spooky for Grimy. We'll see if he can maintain it. I can't look away, but oh, I should be watching you Joe get, as you well. Do have to be for, you do have to be lined for that red chest. Um, and hope that he's going to ignore it. Oh, that's a lot of All stuff. Right. Oh, getting dunked by a dog, the diagonal uh, dunk. That's like the one way that an enemy can get to you when you have that build is diagonal attack. That sucks. Mm -hmm. That's so and... unfortunate. And Grimey goes down. Now Mudjo just needs to coast. He's got armor. He's got health. He's got regen. Yep. Oh. Here are those dogs. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, we cursed just... him so hard. We cursed what him did he, What so did he do? Hard. He, he just like dug. He yeah. like he like dug instead of hitting that goblin. I don't understand. And he got like double hit by the goblins. Oh my goodness, we are back. He and dropped Grimey's a beat or something. Up this again. He this... ran into the goblin and then he moved down and then he didn't do anything. 
Wow. Oh my god. All right. Now okay. What did, what did Grimy do wrong here? Because now he's at half a heart. And last time he was at a heart and a half, even with this build. What he did. What he did was that uh, he picked. He bought the titanium broadsword first this time mm. instead of the boots of pain. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just prefers to be at half a heart for some reason. Seems Look, guys, well you have to understand. You have to understand. I'm aware of commentator's curse, and I invoked it to make it to make this more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going for the high grade. This... Yeah, dude. So like, you can't you can't call this shit on me. All right, like this is on purpose. Yeah, those gray goblins though. I give was doing a heart and a half, and he had plate mail. No, he probably didn't realize that Grimmy had died, right? So he's still trying to push. But like at that point. Like it's really hard to die in that situation. Like that's that's a very specific kind of weird death. Like I've never seen a death like that, honestly. This is one of those, like I said, you know, we're like, yeah. wow, I've never seen a guy die like that. Well, it's Macho, and I've never seen him die like that. Like that's this crazy. is literally a replay of what we just saw. Like Macho slightly behind here. Now is Macho gonna take? No, nah, same thing. It's identical. Even Grimy going the wrong way at the beginning of this is the same. Yes. Well, it's kind of weird because it's like. Joe, I don't know. Joe's never the biggest watcher. He yeah. always said that he had trouble watching. Um, right. I don't know, when it's live, it's different, obviously. But um, yeah, he did some screen watching at SGDQ for sure. But it's yeah, right but next he always to screen. How do he you always know? said, uh, like in his races against Ink Don, he was like, you know what, I died because I was watching. Or I got you know freaked out. Or, yeah. You know, he's like, so for some people, it's like you know, yeah, screen watching is valuable. And there's the times where I've won races or come, you know, come back because of screen watching. But sometimes, man, it's a distraction and it's not worth it. You just have to play your game and have confidence that you can win. Yeah. Yeah, I, I struggle with screen watching, but I try to keep an eye on at least the zone where my opponent is. But that you don't get as much information as if you were looking for the boss or what comes out of certain chests. That can be hard sometimes because you have to catch it at the right time. Yeah. All right. Well, Grimy is slightly ahead here. Goes he checked that purple chest again. He knew that Ring of War was in there. Oh, I didn't even notice that the first time, but yeah, he should have been going for red. Yeah, you need red. Get a blast helm. You only have one bomb. Get a get a a, a ham. Yeah, because his build is totally fine. Otherwise, this is oh my goodness, so scary. Whoa, this is. Watch over the dogs again. Oh no, the diagonal again. The diagonal again. Jesus. He wanted to avoid those coals for some reason. Yeah, and coals he just, aren't so bad with the. Uh, oh my goodness. He just. Mm, that's the worst. And then Joe takes a hit. As long as he doesn't take two goblin or two black skeleton rider hits, he should be fine. But yeah. I mean, he's capable of it. He took a goblin hit there. Oh my goodness. It was just a purple one, so I only did half a heart. Yeah, I don't so know. Bad. I don't know what he's doing. Man. No. He doesn't know what he's doing. Everything's, it, everything's awful here. Yeah, getting stomped just, on by a dragon would hurt as well. Gotta watch he's just that. frustrated, so. Oh my goodness. This race is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Grimy like actually. Grimy did it the right way. Wait a minute. No, he didn't. No, no. Oh, he got hit no, by he something. Got... Yeah, he got hit by the Minotaur planning a bomb to open this. Oh. And so he just decides to take the... Just the boots. The boots. Wow. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. Well, no bombs for Joe. So... Even if he manages to make it all the way, he might not have his bombs. He's got a butt though. puzzle. Oh, and Death Metal 3, everybody's favorite. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> He was doing so well, and then he just can't he read his diagonals. Ah, uh, the diagonals. Dude, I've got 3,000 hours in this game. I still don't know how to The diagonal slimes? I oh, know. yeah. I can. Fire and I ice can't slimes walk. just suck. I'll, I'll watch, like, Joe or somebody walk through the... Or oh, Rat. Rat's really good at that. He'll just walk right to the middle slimes. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I can't do that. I, like, what, I was like... <laughs> are you... Are you... Are you Neo? Are you... <laughs> Switching it into bullet time. Yeah, like, what do you, what do you do? You're just, you're, you're seeing the code? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, those boots are all right. If only yeah, that orange take... scroll worked for the boots, though. 
I oh <laughs> I might take the the, the blood rape here. <laughs> I know he's got the he's got the three five. It's pretty di it's pretty nice. Yeah, three five is really nice, and he's got the uh, the ring of regen, so it's probably a little too cautious. But I mean, I just want to play. like, but there is there is a there is a time when like not having damage could kill you more than having the the healing. Absolutely, and that time is typically zone four. <laughs> so. Yep. Oh, he's gonna make sure he keeps this cheese he's alive. Bomb the cheese. What did the cheese ever do to you? <laughs> he's hoping for more. A little more damage if or he wants, but yeah, he doesn't need that. Ah! Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a... oh, that ogre, the ogre smack. Yeah, man. Man, the Joe day, has been the other... taking lots of hits and things that are sort of atypical. Ogres are the things that, like, they hurt me the most when I come back after a while. I'm like, oh, yeah, they have that long-ass range, and I completely forgot about it. Yeah, you just forget, because it's the only like, enemy with range like that, so you just kind of Like, you're that. just like, yeah, I can, I'm totally safe right here, and then you just, like, waste a beat or something, and you're like, oh, no. Yeah, and it gets kills me. and it hurts. Damn. And one time I was like, wait, really? <laughs> like, really? That, that happened? Looked a, that looked like a four. Come on, game. That wasn't just three. All right, on to Dead Ringer. So Mudjo's looking to close this set out, and then we're going to be moving on to our Melody races. I guess Spooty and Tuffwo. Yeah, our next race will be Spooty, Tuffwo, Melody. And hey, Jack. Yeah, EU friendly, because why not? cha 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 Oh, yeah, I do. I do that little... But, ah, cha 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 When something <laughs> dicey happens. We've all got our little uh, things. It's all good. Nice lure by Joe there. I like how he plowed through with the bombs. Got his health back anyway, so it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. These lures are not good. <laughs> Dorian's messing him <laughs> up, and then just not getting there. Luring is something that you lose too. Yeah, it's uh, true. You lose seeing it. It's like, wait, was it four or three? I don't remember. But, but, but anyway. All right, a solid 12, a sub 13. Nice dot done before actually dunning. It's all good. A little SMH from Mudjo. All right, well, GG Mudjo, you do move on. You're gonna be up against a cane in the in the uh, semis for Melody. But before that, we're gonna get some tough low spooty action. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. 